Good morning. I am heading to London today. The car is ready to be serviced and is very much letting me know. I'm heading to London today. I have a few meetings. I am shooting something in Selfridges with Drunk Elephant. A long time coming. I think originally this campaign was meant to be, was it May last year? And then it was January and then it just, it's taken a moment. So Drunk Elephant are launching in Selfridges and I am very stoked to be included in the campaign for the launch. And then afterwards I have two meetings to connect to my phone. I cannot do a car journey without music. That is just obscene. I'm gonna do this. Are we gonna work? Or are we not gonna connect? We need to connect. Do not mess with me. We've got station, walk, train, tube, walk. Always, it's going to be a process. I just got tattooed and now it's Emma's turn. It was, I didn't expect to find it so difficult to breathe, but where Andrea had his hand on different parts near my ribs and everything, it made it really hard to breathe. So the flinching was a bit of a nightmare, but we got it done and I'm really, really pleased with it. I really, really love the positioning and I feel like I've opened up a bit of a, a bit of a can of worms with now wanting to do more on my stomach, but I suppose it was inevitable with time. Met up at Whopping Station, which is near Riverside Tattoo Studio, and I could see her in the distance, and I was thinking, straight away, I was like, are we wearing the same scarf? And we've turned up, basically wearing, and kind of see it over there, in the pile of Emma's things. But we've both turned up wearing the same super colorful scarf, which I thought was really cute, and Nikki would have just absolutely loved that, and she would love that we're getting these moths today and it's um it's a really difficult day and it's actually quite hard talking to camera and i wanted to say something this morning but i just couldn't and i'm quite tearful <laughs> i actually met a few followers this morning members of the team and i've just i'm just in a bit of an emotional state this week and it probably is to do with the fact that we're getting this tattoo today and what it signifies and everything but last week i was quite okay really and not that emotional but yeah there's something about this week where i just i'm on the edge of tears quite often and definitely related to nikki um but anyway i know that she would be very very thrilled to see these little moths on us and she would love that we've met up together and done this there's just some sort of solace in that and just a way of way of honoring her makeup free day today i've got some eye patches on at the moment just made a delicious mocha before i start anything i need to sort this kitchen out because i've come downstairs and it's not in the best state so my priority first is to sort this out do the washing ups unload the dishwasher restack the dishwasher give a bit of a tidy up all around here and clean up and then once that's sorted i will start my editing and all of my admin for the day. I do have a lot to get through. Here is my little Nikki moth. I've been feeling very, very off this week. Not, not so great. Last week was all right, but this week, I don't know. Everything sort of hit me a bit and um, it's okay. It doesn't mean that I'm in the major depths. It just means I'm, I'm feeling things more. I'm way more emotional and I, Yeah, I'm just feeling everything. I'm not that far off a year from my mum passing and there was a lot going on. There's, well, there's been a lot going on in the last 10 years with, with everything around that, that I never talked about until she passed and I never 
went into the ways in which that like took its toll and it has taken its toll on on me and everything but I also never want to dwell too much because I have so many positives in life and I always look to it could be worse it could be so so much worse it doesn't take away from how things affect me but yeah I'm just having a very pensive week it would seem no filming but that's okay because I'm on top of everything I just need to edit two videos I've already made do all of my admin sort the house out I need to pop into town to pick up my coat because that should be finished now and ready to be collected so yeah a very nice day the weather is beautiful uh, I love these crisp crisp cold days we're not getting enough of them but they're in between these miserable November days you know let's have this mocha and get the kitchen sorted I was about to say good morning, but it is in fact just the afternoon. It's Friday today. I have been working on a bunch of videos this morning and I have just finished editing the first batch. Now it's time for some lunch. I've realised that despite not having that much footage from this week, I do need to finish the vlog here today because this weekend is Christmas decorating weekend. And I am going to try and vlog some of that. I always vlog it for mini vlogs on TikTok, but I'm going to try and do a little bit for YouTube as well. And I've decided that I'm going to try YouTube until January. So I'm going to do a weekly vlog until January and see how I feel about it, see how you feel about it, see how I feel about it. I definitely have to go with what makes sense for me personally and what makes sense for prioritising and all of that kind of thing. And I am only me. I do not have a team around me. I do not have anyone doing my editing or filming or anything, which is how I like it, by the way. That is not a complaint or a woe is me or anything like that. I'm a complete control freak. I like it this way. Every now and then I can feel a little overwhelmed but overall, I, I really like it this way. My tummy is rumbling. Did the sound of biscuit eating wake you up? Slinky absolutely loves this cat tree and she is obsessed with sitting on the orange petal specifically. I'm guessing it's something to do with that height level. Also, she gets the heat from the radiator. Can you imagine how incredible this must feel? It's my lunch, a cup of tea. I am in need of another cup of tea. And I've just been updating the blog. I feel like there aren't many people left doing blogs really, are there, in this kind of way. But I just have a space on the internet that is not dominated by an algorithm. I've done a Black Friday post every year for the last I'm going to say six years, but I actually don't know that Biscuit is very chatty. You can probably hear him meowing. This is just what he does. But I don't know if this might be the last year I do it. I'm not sure. It takes me so long, so I want it to be worthwhile. But I do feel like it's really nice to have a place where everything is listed. And then I'm also always in this complex thing in my mind of the shopping responsibly, idealism versus absolute capitalism. And it's just a just a whirlwind of depth at times. I think it's a great time of year to stock up on things that you already love that are discounted. For example, getting this perfume at 25% off is great. And obviously a great time for gifting because we are entering Christmas and it's great to find things discounted. I have been debating this dress since the moment it launched and the price is just absolutely obscene. And even at 40% off, it's still obscene. You have to pay the import fees in advance and uh, I still really want it, but you know, we shall see. There are some things I feel I can spend ridiculous amounts of money on and, and other things that apparently I can't. I'm gonna end the vlog here and see you next week.